Hi awesome ones, Heather here. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about beauty in this video, but more importantly, today I want to talk about your mind, your body, and your soul. You know what, lately, so many of us, myself included, we've, we're filled with anxiety and sometimes dread and uh, hey, if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling like you've kind of gone down a rabbit hole, I'm here to help you up. So uh, I've got five tips and they all start in just a few seconds. So for tip number one, let's start with a weird kind of tip and that's all about your nails. And if you're like me, you love wearing bright colors on your nails, but you know, once the colder weather comes around and you're not wearing those sandals anymore, well, I don't have the nail polish on my sand, on my feet rather, <laughs> when I'm not wearing sandals and you know, it's winter, I'm wearing gloves and mittens, so maybe I'm not wearing them on my nails as well. But you know what? We got to get out of a rut. So I find that if I'm painting my nails like a bright color and my toenails that every time I take a look at them, I'm just feeling kind of uplifted and even a little bit pampered. And let's face it, these days, there's not a lot of opportunity. We want to stay safe. And so in many cases, we're not getting our manis and our petties. But uh, I just want to show you just a few of the colors. I mean, there's wild colors out there. You can always order them online and even blues and purples and I also have all the things for doing my cuticles and uh, filing my nails and by the way I did a video on uh, how I got a natural looking like a French manicure look and what I'll do is I'll put the link to that video at the end screen of this one so uh, let's do up our nails. Oh, and by the way, the good news about these tips is you can start them today. So uh, let's look at number two. And number two, the tip is, what are you wearing? And if you're wearing all black day after day and they're oversized sweats and t-shirts, uh, probably this is the worst time to wear all black. I, I suggest go to your closet. Just start looking at all the funny t-shirts like Take them out and, and take out the, the colorful uh, animal prints, the bright colors, and put them all together in your closet. And now when you go to the closet in the morning and you're just feeling a little bit down, you're going to look at all those things that kind of uplift you, make you feel brighter. And uh, the other thing about wearing oversized, stretchy black clothing is we don't know how much <laughs> we're gaining weight and uh, a lot of us are kind of lounging around so that's not a good idea later so sort those closets and look at the bright side so number three is be a mover and a shaker and by the way did you hear about my book because uh, there's a chapter in there or actually a tip in there called mover and another one called shaker and all you have to do is go to Amazon look up awesome over 50 Heather Hyde so uh, anyway let's talk about being a mover and they say now that sitting is the new smoking and some of us are now smoking a pack a day aren't we? <laughs> so get those bright outside clothes on and just get out there and if you've got one of those exercise monitors get in your 10,000 steps and if it's cold bundle up it's the best thing to do and it also really kind of helps your attitude it, it just somehow fresh air it just always makes me feel so much better and uh, you know put on the boots make sure you've got some good tread on there and if it's cold out don't forget to wear your hat but uh, with the boots I Always think of these boots are made for walking do you remember that song put it in the comments if you remember who sang that song we're going back a little ways but 
What about the shaker part? Well, with the shaker, I'm talking about blenders and uh, it's so, I don't really get the vegetables I'm supposed to get every single day and certainly not the fruits either, but it's so easy just to blend up uh, a smoothie and just make sure that you have the right kind of blender though, because not all of them can use the frozen um, vegetables and the frozen fruit and that's how I like to make a, a smoothie. Uh, I'll give you a couple of suggestions here. We usually have some bananas on hand and then I'm putting in some orange juice, a little bit of uh, water and blueberries, great antioxidants, uh, strawberries and I'm just mixing it all up with one banana and it is a great great thing to to have even when you are sitting on the couch and watching uh, a TV show it's better than a bag of potato chips or something like that also I also have a recipe for kale what you know one of those green smoothies but I put kale maple syrup and a Macintosh apple and a little bit of water and I got to tell you it is so delicious so uh, yeah, let's all be a little bit moving and a little bit shaken and I'll tell you something it really really uplifts your spirits and it's helping you to be a little healthier too and maybe have a little more energy. So now you're moving and you're shaking and you brighten up your wardrobe and even your fingernails. Uh, what's next? And I was thinking about this as a tip and it's all about reflecting on 2020. Now, now what on earth, who wants to reflect on 2020, right? But you know what, there were really gems in 2020, things that I learned. What were the lessons that I learned? Well, as I reflect back, I kind of was thinking about how I realized that I don't have to go on a restaurant date with my husband every single week. Are you laughing back there? <laughs> but you know what, what I mean is that we had to stay home. And so what, what I'm doing tonight is I'm making some chicken wings in my air fryer and I'm going to have some uh, celery and some carrots and it's, and a couple of beers, of course, and it's going to feel like we're out at a bar and maybe we're going to put on, uh, oh, I don't know, on demand, you could have a concert that you could put on TV and just kind of feel like I'm having a date day at home. And so that's one thing that I discovered. Hey, I, I can have a nice date day at home. And uh, there were other things that I discovered about uh, staying at home. And one of the things is that I can do something. And I don't know if you can see this, but Bill and I, I even had it framed because we did this puzzle. And I'll tell you something. Get yourself a puzzle because it's a great feeling of accomplishment every day. You know, look, I got this part and look, I got that part. And it's not really easy either. This was a thousand piece puzzle and uh, you know, it was kind of difficult to do. But all I'm trying to say is if you reflect back on the things that you've learned, maybe you learned how to do Zoom and, and uh, you know, learning how to say hi to your family from a bit of a distance. But, you know, we all have gone through some doom and gloom and I'll tell you that I lost my brother a few weeks ago and I was grieving. I went through all of that and it, it, I, I can't stay there. Let's just say that. I, I, I can't stay there. I need something to think of and maybe for you, you don't want to think about things that you've lost, maybe with a business that you've, lo you've got or a family member or there's so much that people are going through and I know this and the reason for this tip is to sort of look for the attitude of gratitude, the little gems, the little morsels of, of things that you can learn out of 2020 and uh, maybe do what I do every single night. I write in my gratitude journal and I always find something. I mean, there's always something and it's a great way to go to sleep at night and, and not think about the worst that's out there, but think of the best of the day. So I'm going to bring up my little Yorkie hurricane for the next one. And the next tip is all about connections. 
especially if you're living alone you have to be connected and of course if you've got a little pet like this guy uh, do a little bit more snuggling and let them give you their little kisses and uh, take them for a walk because that's as I mentioned to you that's really good for both of you um, connections let me think of some other oh what about Skype and Zoom I mentioned that earlier and you know learn it and in a lot of cases if you talk to your kids they already know how to uh, give you the connection in your email and you know sometimes you need to have a pretty good connection for that and maybe even high speed so if you don't have that get back on the old phone again. Um, the other day I talked to two of my dearest friends one for two hours actually it was probably over two hours and it was so magical, it was just so wonderful. And the other one was about an hour and a half and uh, you know, we, we just talk about everything and it's so important that you stay connected and other ways to stay connected of course are, um, I don't know if you know this, but I've got an Instagram, uh, just search awesome over 50. Every day I post an Instagram and stories and I'm always trying to put something uplifting in there and a lot of people they're just sort of chatting to me and uh, the same here with the video and I actually look and, and reply to about 90% of the comments so uh, you know just just don't sit alone and, and think that, that you are alone because being connected is so so important right now. You know, I don't think there's a soul on earth that hasn't been affected in 2020 and uh, just want you to know that we're all in this together and it's important for us to rise up and help other women, uh, whether it is through social media or whatever, you know, because we are the movers and the shakers. We are the, the ones with the attitude of gratitude and let's share it out there and let's help to keep the world just a little more awesome.